Hi guys. This is Eric from Invensys Learning. We are back again with an interesting tutorial on Six Sigma, so in this session, we will discuss various Six Sigma tools used to maintain the quality. Let us start today's session with an example. Imagine that you are hired as a manager, in an e-commerce company, where the sales were down in the last three months, and fewer deliveries, are being delivered in a day. There also seems to be an issue with the packing of products. Now, the major tasks in front of you, is to increase the delivery rate and address the issue of packing in the coming months. To address all those issues, we have Six Sigma. Six Sigma will provide the tools and techniques, to determine the cause of packing and deliveries, eliminate the delay, move the process and fix future problems. Now, let us discuss Six Sigma, and its tools, and find a solution to the problems faced by the e-commerce company. Before that, we will start with the agenda of today's session. Today in this session, we will start our session with what is Six Sigma? Then we will further understand, the methodologies in Six Sigma. After that, we will discuss details of the Demaic methodology. Post that, we will start with Six Sigma tools, and finally, we will conclude the session with the possible solutions to the problems faced by the e-commerce company. Sounds interesting, right? So without any delay, let's get started. If you are not subscribed to our channel yet, please do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates. What is Six Sigma? The concept of Six Sigma evolved in the late 20th century, and since then, it has been widely adopted by industries around the globe to maintain quality. Six Sigma is a set of techniques and tools for process improvement. Six Sigma aims to reduce time and manufacturing defects and minimize the dispersion in manufacturing and business processes. Six Sigma experts follow specific value targets to reduce defects and increase customer satisfaction. A few methodologies are used in Six Sigma, so let us discuss the Six Sigma methodologies in detail. Six Sigma methodologies. There are two major methodologies used in Six Sigma, they are DM, AIC, and DM, AD, V. Now, let us understand, the abbreviations of these methodologies, DM, AIC, D stands for define, M stands for measure, A stands for analyze, I stands for improve, C stands for control. Each phase in this methodology, is used to improve the manufacturing process, this process is used with manufacturing units, and the existing products, DM, AD, V stands for Define Measure Analyze Design Verify Whereas, DM, AD, V is a methodology used in Six Sigma to design a new product in an organization. Till now, we have seen the methodologies in Six Sigma. Now, let us start with DM, AIC in detail. What is DMAIC? DMAIC is a data-driven improvement cycle, used to enhance, optimize, and stabilize business processes and designs. The DMAIC improvement cycle is the primary instrument for driving Six Sigma initiatives. DMAIC, on the other hand, is not limited to Six Sigma and may be utilized as a foundation for various types of improvement applications. DMAIC is an abbreviation for the five improvement processes, define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. All of the DMAIC process phases are needed, and must be completed in the specified order. Till now, we have seen what is DMAIC. Now, let us start with the Six Sigma tools associated with DMAIC. Six Sigma tools. There are many tools used Six Sigma to maintain the quality, but today we will discuss about the tools used in DMAIC methodology. These tools are further categorized as per the phases, so let us discuss them one by one. Define phase, project charter. Measure phase, fishbone diagram. Analyze phase, Pareto chart. Improve phase, five wise analysis. Control phase, control plan. So we will start with the tools in detail. So let us start with define phase. In the define phase, you will understand the issues that you are facing in the process and check for the opportunities to improve the process and also get the customer requirements. Here in this phase, the issue is considered as a single process and understanding the process to resolve the issue. The major tool used in the define phase is Project Charter. The Project Charter is one of the most important tool in the define phase of every project. Now, let us understand what is Project Charter. Project Charter and Project Management is simply a document that formally authorizes the existence of an ongoing project with a clear concise of its goals. Project Charter will consist of six important documents. Those are Defining Business Case 
Problem statement. Goal statement. Defining scope. Defining milestones and team charter. These all will be included in the project charter, and through this, we can define the problem. For more information on the project charter, refer to the link given in the description. Now, let us start with the tool in our next phase. Our next phase is measure. In this measure phase, Six Sigma experts will determine the current process, which causes the issue. Here in this phase, there are certain metrics, based on the project. Here the basic tool, used in the measure phase, is the fishbone diagram. Here in this phase, it is crucial to identify the main cause of the problem. Therefore, fishbone is one of the important tools, in Six Sigma to identify the potential root cause of the issue. Under the fishbone diagram, our major task is to find the root cause, it includes six various causes for an effect in the fishbone diagram, they are People Process Procedure Place Price And Productivity And there are several other subsequent steps in the manufacturing industry. So now, using this fishbone diagram, we can define the root cause of the issue. For more details on the fishbone diagram and its functioning, do enroll with us at Invensys Learning for Six Sigma training. Now, we will start with the Analyze phase. In the Analyze phase, Six Sigma experts will determine what causes the issue and its variation. In this phase, it is important to analyze the process capability. Here in this phase, the Pareto chart is the most important tool used to analyze the issue. In industry, this Pareto chart is also known as the 80-20 rule, which means the most number of problems occur due to fewer causes. Here, this Pareto chart will assist the project team in focusing on the major issues, by resolving the fewer number of causes, and this will impact the project. To learn more about the Pareto chart, stay tuned. And subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates. Now, we will start with the next phase, which is the improve phase. Here, in this improve phase, Six Sigma experts will make, the changes to the manufacturing process, with respect to the analyzed results, and ensure that the defects are addressed. We have the basic tool used to improve the process, that is, 5Y analysis. This is the crucial analysis, to reach the right cause of the problem, which helps the team, to find the correct solution. Here, it will ask a question about the issue, and by analyzing the answers, we will get the accurate information to act on and resolve the issue. To learn more about the 5Y's analysis, watch this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos on Six Sigma. Next, we will see the last phase of the Demaic methodology, that is the control phase. This is the final phase of the Demaic methodology, in Six Sigma. In this phase, Six Sigma experts, will make regular updates to the process, which will help them maintain, the best performances in the future. And the basic tool, used in this control phase, of Demaic methodology is the control plan. This is used to control the improved phase of the project, so here in the control plane, we have What is to be implemented? Who will implement? When will be implemented? How to implement? Frequency of implementation. And approved by. Above all these factors, will help the Six Sigma expert to control the improved phase. To learn more about the control plan, and other important Six Sigma practices, enroll in our course at Invensys Learning. Before concluding, the session, we will try to resolve the problem, for example, stated above. The major tasks, in front of you, is to increase the deliverables and address the packing issue in the coming months. Let me, recap the example. Imagine that, you are hired as a manager, in an e-commerce company, where the sales were down in the last three months, and fewer deliveries are being delivered in a day. There also seems to be an issue with the packing of products. Now, the major tasks in front of you are to increase the deliveries and address the issue of packing in the coming months. Let us try to find out a solution to the problem in this example using the Demaic approach. In define phase, we will understand the process as a whole and to find out the issue of packing the deliverables using Project Charter. Herewith, the Project Charter tool, is easy to find the problem, and understand the process. Starting with the business goal, here the goal of the company is to deliver the products fast and securely. Then we have the problem statement, here in this example, the deliverables lack the quality in packings. The goal statement, for this problem statement, is to resolve the packaging problem and deliver the product. Here the scope statement, is used to describe the ways that can be identified in the process, so for this example, the scope statement is to verify the machinery in the packing. Then finally, the team charter will help us assign that task to an expert in handling the machinery. 
Thus, our project charter is ready and this will be created by the project manager, as shown in the slide. Now, we will start with the measure phase, in which we will understand the effects and causes of the process. Now, we will try to understand the fishbone diagram for this scenario. The causes that can be involved in this example of fishbone diagram are the people involved in packing, the process of maintaining the deliverables, the way that the deliverables are packed, place where the items are packed, price per package, and the number of packages are being packed in a day. Here the effect is damaged packing, and the causes to this can be. In this example, the process is automated, and the deliverables will be laid on a roller to reach the machines. Then, the deliverables will be packed with the help of cardboard sheets, and this packing is held at a warehouse away from the city, and this warehouse will pack the deliverables around 10,000 packages per day. And the rate of the defect in packing is 1,000. Now, an expert is assigned to get all this information. With the help of these metrics, we can measure the issue more clearly. And the expert findings show that the root cause can be with one of the packing machines, the quality of the cardboard used in packing, and the distance traveled by the deliverable after packing. With all the information, the Six Sigma expert will analyze the problem using the Pareto chart. Analyze phase, in which we will understand the maximum effects occurred with minimum causes, the tool used in this phase is Pareto chart. So, let us discuss the Pareto chart in detail. For this problem, let's say, 70% of packing damages are due to failure in packing machine, and 20% damages are due to the quality of cardboard, and then 10% with the transportation of deliverables after packing. Pareto chart, which is also known as 80-20 rule. This Pareto chart will assist the project team to focus on the major issues by resolving the less number of causes. The major causes for the problems in this example are the failure in the machine and the quality of the cardboard used for packing. So here, this chart clearly shows that the major causes to this issue is with the damaged packing machine. With this, we will try to resolve the issue of packing by replacing the packing machine and installing the new machine for packing, and for the improvement of quality, we will use the five whys analysis. So let us start with the improve phase. Improve phase, in which we will confirm the root cause of issue and implement the changes tool used in this phase is five whys analysis. Here in this analysis, we will ask a question about the issue, and by analyzing the answers, we will get the accurate information to act on and resolve the issue. With the first question, why package is damaged? Then answer is, it happened due to the failure of the machine, then why the machine has failed? Comes our second question, the answer for this is, the packing machine installed was a defective one, then with the third question of why the machine is a defective one? Answer to this can be, because of no check is done on the machine while installing, why the machine is not checked while installing? Then there comes the fourth question. Answer to this can be, missed while installing the machine. Then why you missed while installing the machine? There comes the final question, in 5Y analysis. The answer to this is, installation is done by third-party vendor, not the authorized machinery expert. Thus, this 5Y's analysis breaks down the potential issue, which is installing the defective packing machine, by third-party vendors. Now, after changing the machine, the issue of packing is resolved, and to control this improvement, we will now see the control plans. Control phase, in which we will take necessary actions to maintain the improvements. Tool used in this phase is control plan. So let us discuss about control plan in detail. Here for maintaining this improvement, the control plan will be install the verified machinery, it should be implemented in the nearby warehouse, the machinery expert should install it, once at the time, installation and check the machinery every month. Create the checklist with the details of machinery installation and share this with experts. And the frequency of this control plan should be one month. This should be approved and acknowledged by the quality manager. Thus, the control plan will be created and used to maintain the improvement. With all this, the Six Sigma experts will resolve the issue using the Six Sigma tools. This will reduce the time for packing and increase the deliverables package rate. With the increase in the quality packages, the delivery time will be reduced drastically. Interested in Six Sigma certification? And confused with where to start? Don't worry. We got it covered. Be part of the Six Sigma training by Invensys Learning to demonstrate your comprehensive understanding of the Lean Six Sigma methodology and Demaic approach. Also, 
Learn how to effectively handle business critical projects using Six Sigma tools and techniques and lean concepts. Feel free to reach out to us with your queries in the comments section, so that our experts will address the queries. This is Eric from Invensys Learning, signing off.